all the girls are here. Funny. All the girls are great. Guys are a little shaky, but all the girls are here are really great. And this is another one. Go on. Uh, I met Hayden probably in 81 or 82. Uh, we were talking about it a little bit earlier when I was transferred from headquarters out to the field office. And the field office guys don't like headquarters. You know, they just assume they stay wherever they are so they get lost. But uh, I came into the office and uh, made friends with Hayden right off of until he was a class guy. Uh, if there was anybody I'd call a sweetheart as a guy, it'd probably be Hayden. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's a oh. But we hit it right <laughs> off. <and> it, was <laughs> it wasn't long before ski season came around and Hayden and a group of guys from both Houston and San Antonio went up skiing every year. I had skied one time. And that was on a bunny hill in Wisconsin, and I didn't have that very well. <laughs> but they invited me along, and so I said, sure, you know, I like to go along. Well, the way it worked back then, the Houston guys would drive over to San Antonio, and there was a banker over there who always went with us. He had a station wagon. You, any of you guys over there know what a station wagon is? <laughs> it, was, it was like, it was kind of a precursor to an SUV. It was lower, sometimes wider, sometimes longer. Well, the process was we loaded up this guy's uh, station wagon. Two in the front driving, two in the back, and then a mattress in the back where two of us would sleep. And we just drive straight through and just. Uh, <laughs> And this guy had a, uh, a homemade trailer. Remember that? I didn't think it ever get out of the driveway. It, it got us to Colorado probably six or seven years. And we'd throw all our ski gear in the back with that trailer, and off we'd go, and just drive straight through. And then we'd get there in the morning and immediately hit the slopes and ski all day. And always the first one on the slopes, always the last one off. And uh, just had a great time. And I, I do remember this one, uh, this one particular trip. We went to Breckenridge, and we had a guy in our group that had a knack for, if not getting us a free place to stay, at least getting us a nice place to stay at a very cheap rate. And this uh, one time in Breckenridge, he got in his house, and all we knew was we were supposed to go to the house, walk up underneath the stairway where there was a nail with a key on it, and that would let us in. So we got there, no problem, and there was about six feet of snow on the ground. I mean, we had this horrible. Nobody plowed the sidewalk the driveway or anything. So we tromp through the snow. And we see the stairway and we walk a little closer. We see the nail. Guess what we don't see? No <laughs> key. <laughs> so it's starting to get dark, you know, and you do the only thing you can do to start digging, you know, hoping the key is going to be there. So sure enough, we got all the way to the ground and there was a key. You know, so we picked it up, we got in, we had our dinner, everything was great. We get up the next morning and the owner of the house has arrived. And he's brought his special friend. Do you remember this morning? The, the friend is a pretty big guy, you know? The owner is probably 5'5 five five and goes maybe 1'10, okay? He has on this skin tight leopard skin leaf <laughs> for too long. Right? He has probably eight to ten gold chains around his neck. And I think if he had stood there ten seconds longer than we saw him, he'd have just collapsed. But it was a free play. It was a free play. We put up with a lot for a free play. So, uh, you know, they say they come up during the night and they're going to go do some skiing, but they won't bother us. We can go do our thing. They're going to do their dresses. So that was great. We get home that afternoon and they're packing up. And they come all the way to Houston. So I so said, what's going on? And the little guy says, big guy took me up on this big mountain and I couldn't get down. <coughs> We're going home. <laughs> so they packed up. Home they went. The rest of the week was great. 